Deputy political leader of the St. Lucia Labour Party, Dr. Ernest Hilaire, is keeping his guard up and asking the same of St. Lucians. He claims the recent action by the government to break a good faith agreement with the St. Lucia National Trust speaks volumes. It is frightening. The, 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 I think I take comfort in knowing that within the next year, the electorate will have a chance to demonstrate whether or not they condone such practices and actions as pursued by this government. People change governments for many reasons. It can be bad policy, it can also be corruption and bad governance. And we have an instance now where, like you said, the, the lack of transparency and accountability and the abuse of state institutions is being normalized. And it's been normalized because people are threatened if they speak up what would happen to them. People are frightened of taking action and, to be, and being victimized. Hilaire is leery of what he describes as the heavy-handed governance that could infringe the rights of the citizenry. That is the worst abuse of state institutions, where people abrogate, they give up their right to ensure that their society functions in a particular way because they're frightened that they may be fired and they cannot pay their mortgages, that their children will probably not get a scholarship and they keep quiet and they allow it to happen. Moreover, Hilaire scoffed at allegations that Labour Party operatives are spearheading a smear campaign against Tourism Minister Dominic Fede. The ancillary canneries MP has been mired in controversy of late, which Hilaire alleges is of his own making and not part of an elaborative conspiracy. Are your operatives going for him? No. If the minister accepts that it was him on this recording, then nobody's gunning for him. He's actually shooting himself. Nobody's gunning for him when he accepts that. Tr tell me, I don't know there have been many parents who have been marked more than me. Even before I was elected, there's a systematic campaign against me. I know what it is like for people to gun, you know, for you. Every time I, I, I move about, I, I get the, all the threats and everything else. But the point is, you have to demonstrate the truth, and there it is, you have a recording, and the minister is accepting that that is him. But worst of all, he's saying that it is acceptable behavior. And it just tells you the character of the government that's in place. When a minister can actually say, yes, it is me, or imply that it is me, and this is acceptable behavior. I, I think it really tells you the low levels which this government has sunk. The opposition is questioning a recent moves by the administration, it argues, does not bode well for the management of the pandemic and economic crisis facing the nation. They warn that the constitutional rights and civil liberties of ordinary St. Lucians may be under threat. Solaj Alfred, HTS News Force.